What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. It's not time to let it go. Frozen 3 is happening after Frozen 2 became one of the biggest animations in the history of cinema with a huge $1.45 billion budget. From a release date to famous theories about the plot, here's everything we know about it. Release date. As we previously said, Frozen 2 was a huge success for Disney. It even reaches the original movie's success, and it surely has a great story and an even greater animation to offer. In fact, Frozen 2 became the highest grossing animated film of all time. With a $1.5 billion haul since its release, Frozen 2 has outdone Frozen as the top animated film at the global box office. Nevertheless, the co-directors have once stated that Frozen 3 won't happen. Jennifer Lee told Yahoo Movies that for her personally, finishing Frozen 2 felt final, and she also noted that she's tired. But Lee recently said that they constantly say never say never. When it comes to Chris Buck, he thinks Frozen and Frozen 2 work as one, but when somehow confirms Frozen 3 by saying nothing ever closes the door. Based on the success the second movie reached, Frozen will return for a third installment. We also know that unfortunately, Frozen 3 will be the last film of the franchise. It is expected the huge part of the trilogy may be released in 2023 or 2024, as the first two installments had a huge gap in between. You are the bridge. Well, actually, a bridge has two sides, and Mother had two daughters. What we should expect. Frozen 2 did make lots of money, but it also received mixed reviews. The directors, Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck, are expected to come back for the third installment. For those of you not familiar with the story, Frozen 2 is about the relationship between the central, Arendelle, protagonists and the North Ultra tribe. Set three years after the events of the first film, the film features Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven, who start a journey beyond their kingdom of Arendelle to discover the root of Elsa's magic powers and save their kingdom after a strange voice calls out to Elsa. Elsa then discovers that her ancestry is directly connected to the Enchanted Forest. To be honest, the film did leave a lot of space for a third one. Will Elsa ever return to Arendelle? Maybe she'll remain the protector of the Enchanted Forest where she discovers a connection between her ancestors with the tribe of Northaldra. Also, what happened to Kristoff's parents? These and many other questions can only be answered in Frozen 3. I was just so desperate to protect her. I know, I know, it's okay. My love is not fragile. Cast. When it comes to the cast, we should expect Kristen Bell to come back as Anna and Idina Menzel as Elsa. Then the most entertaining one, Josh Gad as Olaf, Anna's love interest, Jonathan Groff as Kristoff and Sven, they'll all be back. To be honest, the film won't be any good if some other actors took over these voices. This is fine. <laughs> fun facts. We all remember how successful the first Frozen was, so let's go through some fun facts that will certainly shock you. First, did you guys know that 600 people worked for two and a half years to animate the characters? Let's be honest here, that attention to detail is best presented in Elsa's braid. Yet another surprising fact is that it took the movie 70 years to get made. Well, in a day. The origin story of Frozen is The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen, and Walt Disney had been considering adopting it since as early as 1937. In order to observe her movements, Idina Menzel sang in front of a room full of animators. And here's our favorite. Let It Go has been recorded in over 41 languages. How do you say let it go in your language? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, make sure you smack that like button if you haven't done it already. One of our favorite scenes from the first film, of course, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? But you'll be surprised to know that the directors were filled with doubts about keeping the scene. It was not put back into the film until the watching hour before we released it, said Kristen Bell. And last but not least, the designers took a field trip to Norway to draw out Arendelle. How amazing is that? With this attention put into detail, Frozen 3 certainly lives on high expectations. As north as we can go stood a very old and very enchanted forest. Frozen 3 Plot If you're anything like us, you simply can't get enough of the Frozen franchise, and we're talking about fans from every generation. The Adventures of Anna, Krista and Belle, Elsa, Idina Menzel, Kristoff and Sven, Jonathan Groff, and Olaf, Josh Gad, are exciting for both kids and adults. So guys, what should we expect from the plot for Frozen 3? As we previously said, there are just so many stories worth telling. 
First, let's talk about how Elsa understands that she is the fifth element, and Anna becomes the Queen of Arendelle, then as we all remember, Elsa keeps an eye on the Enchanted Forest, and Anna watches over her kingdom. Frozen 2 did end on a happy note, but there are just so many questions fans need an answer to. We certainly want Elsa to find her love, and we truly want to see that in the next installment. According to a fan theory, Anna and Kristoff would have three kids in the next film. We would love for them to make an appearance in the new Frozen film. The Ending of Frozen 2 Frozen 2 did offer some amazing adventures with Elsa, Anna, and the whole crew, but ever since its release, fans have been questioning themselves if the sequel is better than the original. Frozen 2 took six years of making, and then we finally got the sequel to one of the most successful movies of all time, Frozen. As experts from all over the world claim, Frozen 2 is a great film which is rare nowadays, considering how awful sequels can be. However, most fans were, um, disappointed by the film's ending. The ending of Frozen 2 is, according to most fans, too quick. Things are beyond good throughout the whole movie. There's the attention to detail in the plot, and when the ending comes, it just looks like the creators were just trying to only put an end, no matter what. So yes, as fans claim, the creators should have put more effort into the finale. The conflict just gets clear so quickly that it makes things feel a bit low. Yet again, it's all about the perspective as other fans claim the ending was great. What do you guys think? Don't forget to share your opinion. The Return of the Mother Since we're about to wait for quite some time until we can watch Frozen 3, fans all over the world have come up with different theories on what is going to be explored in the next installment. As one theory suggests, it's never really been confirmed that the mother of Elsa and Anna is dead. In the second film, this is a huge part of the plot, so her comeback could absolutely be the focus of another film. The background and the whole story of their father are established, but when it comes to their mother, the film never gave a certain answer. Olaf Yet another theory suggests that Olaf's existence could be the focus of the third film. He has been doubting his life for a long time. He had some troubles when he was figuring out what life really is about, and we believe the creators left some space in his story for a further focus on him. He's a popular character, and we should expect the film to go deep into his past in the future. Perhaps Olaf will have his own adventure to understand his existence? What do you guys think? Anna's Abilities As we all know, Elsa is the only sister to have powers, however, her mother passed them on. So, based on this, Anna is also expected to experience a change. According to fans' various theories, Anna could manifest powers in a third film. This is probably the most popular and most unexpected theory, but one thing is certain, we should wait a couple of years before we see we will take the focus in the next Frozen. What is your own theory about? Don't forget to let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.